Hi guys. In my last video, I introduced you to Audacity's pattern drafting software. I took you through how to download it. I took you through all the menus for you to see what you can do with Audacity's pattern drafting software. It will be better you go ahead and watch that video. I'm going to link it right here and also below this video. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to actually use all these Audacity pattern drafting tools to create a basic body block. And this is going to be part one of the video where we are going to start with the back part of a basic body block using Audacity's pattern drafting tools. If that is what interests you, then don't go away and um, stay tuned. So the first thing is you get to the building stop. And then you're going to click on rectangle and here in the x-axis you're going to put your back shoulder length divided by two and in the y-axis you're going to put your shoulder to waist length the shoulder to waist length now once you've done that you click on your left mouse come to the center and begin to draw it and as you draw it you see the numbers are moving once it gets to 25, it gives you a sign and then you bring it down to the 51. And then click on your left and then click on your right to let go. So now we have our red tango. Now the next thing we need to do, of course, is to put the curve of the neck. And that is going to be on the Y axis. And we are going to be writing the measurement of your waist to your center back. Measurement of your waist to your center back. And then you click by coordinates, come back there, enter that measurement, come to where you're going to start the measurement, click on the left, and then it will give you the exact position of the 42 centimeters. And that's it there. Always click on your left when you get your measurement and then click on your right to let go. So now we are measuring where we are going to make the curve and we are using eight centimeters. Now we want to do the slope of the shoulder and for the slope of the shoulder, also on the y-axis, we are going to be using 4 centimeters down. So once you put the 4 centimeters, you enter, click where you want to start the measurement. It's going to give you the mark. Click on it with your left mouse and then right mouse to fix it. So now let's draw the curve. We are going to be using the curve. Click on the curve. Click on where you're going to start. Click again to actually create a curve and then click on where you're going to end. As you can see, our curve is not too nice. So I think I have to repeat it. Doesn't look like a curve. So you undo it or you go up there, you undo it and then you can do it again. Click on the curve, click on where you're going to start. Click again midway and then continue to where you want your curve to stop. The last looks much better. So we've created the curve for the back. Now we are going to create the shoulder line. So click from where the curve stops and then to where the shoulder slope is supposed to be. And that is our shoulder line. So now we are going to create our chest line. Remember, everything has to is a quarter. So your chest line, you measure your chest divide by four, 
and you're going to put it on the x-axis because it's along the x-axis it's, it's not down it is sideways that is s mm, sorry that is y-axis it's going to be from up you put the value of your shoulder to chest line you mark it and then you click on the line because we're going to draw a line across to mark the chest line so you begin to see that it's quite easy to use this um, software so now let's go ahead and put our bust point you go to manipulation tab click on parallel element and then you put the number for the bust point and that is uh, 25 that's it there um i think i did something unidirectional okay you need to make sure that it's unidirectional before you actually go ahead and use your redefine parameter so once you click on redefine parameters you put the value of your shoulder to bust and you can see it is giving me a problem because the length actual length on my um pattern is the same it's not supposed to be so so i need to measure myself again and ensure that i have the right measurement so this is the correct measurement 24 as you can see there that's the correct measurement so once we are done with that um the next one i need to do is um to actually measure my chest line and then redefine it to be the exact size your chest line divided by four so now at the bottom i'm going to do my waist line which will be my waist circumference divided by four So you go back to the building tab, click on uh, coordinates, and um, let's put in where our dart point is going to start, and that will be your bust point. Remember your bust point. My bust point, that is nipple to nipple, is um, supposed to be four inches. But I'm using in centimeters and this is the back. So most times the back is 0 0.5 inches less. So that is why I'm using 8 centimeter for my bust point at the back. And that will be the beginning of one leg of my dart. So that's, I've put that right there. So now, um... Let's do by coordinates again. And I want to actually put now my waist measurement. That is my waist circumference divided by 4. And that is 21 centimeters. And I've marked it right there. The most important thing is for you to know how to use each of these. That is why I'm doing all this. And if you make a mistake, you can just go and go back and continue, as you can see. So now I'm going to join the boss point to the waist using the line. And then I will just do my cuff from the shoulder to the chest to the bust point. So I'm going to be using the cuff menu and I'm going to drag my cuff. Click at the center, click at the chest, and then end it at the post measurement. So you can see that the back part is actually taking shape gradually. So now let's um, create, uh, let's label all the points. 
to label point you click on insert text put the text that you want to insert once you put the text you can see that it is writing with the green and once you carry your cursor there you just move it to where you want it to be very simple very very simple to use put another text let's put the um, boss line put your boss line you see up there move your cursor and place it where you want your boss line to be is that the next text let's put the waistline and we're also going to use our cursor and move it to where the waistline is see how easy it is to use it's really easy it's um, beginner friendly so now let's create our dart and to create your dart there are two ways but i'll use a simple way now maybe in another video i'll actually show you how to create that in another way so go to coordinates to create the dart now you measure your waist circumference divided by four and then subtract eight centimeters eight centimeters is half of my nipple to nipple so once you do that you now get the length of or the width of your dart you get the width of your dart so now we are going to find out the center of the dart we are going to measure the distance between them to actually know the center so that we can get the center of the dart and to do that no that is not the wrong that is the wrong one to use it's not parameter let me see what we are supposed to use to measure the distance between those two points. Aha, uh -huh, it's distance. So once you click on one point, click on the next point, you actually see the distance at the bottom right here. So the distance is 5 centimeters. So we now know that the center will be 2.5 centimeters. You go back to your building tab, click on by coordinates. As you can see that this bar coordinate is used a lot, especially if you want to create a point on your pattern to create a particular drawing. So once we put the 2.5, no, there's a mistake. It's not, that is not the center. No, we'll go back and then do it again. Uh -huh. There is the center. So now we can now draw our dots. So use your line. Two, and then you draw your dart. Always click with your left mouse button and then with your right mouse button to leave. So just know that principle. Left mouse button to do whatever you want to do. Right mouse button to establish what you have done. That is the basics of using the mouse to actually use Audacity's pattern drafting software it's a very easy interface to use very very easy so you can see that in no time we have created a basic body block and now we can now join all the dots together you know join all the points together and our pattern is ready what we need to do now is to put alphabets or numbers at each of these points because it's very important especially when we want to create styles other styles from this basic body block the back part of the basic body block i started with this back part because it's easier in my next video i'm going to be doing the front part so this is easier to start with especially if you just want to try your hands on it so you use the same method of uh, inserting text to each of the uh, points which is very important when it comes to digital pattern drafting because you need these points especially if you are using a pattern drafting book and when you so with that i've come to the end of this video where i've shown you how to actually create the back part of a basic body block using the audacity pattern drafting software you can see how easy the platform is to use in my next video i will be doing the front part of a basic bodies 
using the Audacity's um, digital drafting tools. So stay tuned for my next video and thank you so much for watching.